Vítáme vás v naší společnosti Jotun Powder Coatings. Rádi bychom vám v naší laboratoři ukázali některé testy, pomocí kterých můžeme zkontrolovat stupeň vytvrzení práškové barvy. Proč je nutné kvalitu vytvrzení kontrolovat? Obecně lze říct, že nedotvrzená barva negativně ovlivňuje kvalitu lakovaného dílu. Má nižší adhezy, horší mechanické vlastnosti a nižší odolnost proti korozi. My, technický servis Jotun Powder Coatings, Umíme pomocí jednoduchých i velice sofistikovaných testů přesně určit stupeň vytvrzení a tím zákazníkovi pomoci s optimalizací vytvrzovacího procesu a zajistit tak požadovanou kvalitu lakování. Powder coating application and curing. We apply a powder coating to laboratory panels with the thickness according to a specification. After application The panels are cured in an electric laboratory oven. We set the appropriate temperature and time. In this case, 180 degrees Celsius and 10 minutes plus 5 minutes to heat the material evenly. After curing, the panels are left to cool down and tests are performed after 24 hours. Measuring the thickness. Tests must be carried out with specific thicknesses which we measure with a calibrated thickness gauge, MEC test. A MEC test, or test of chemical resistance to methyl ethyl ketone, is a simple quick coating cure quality test. This test can be performed at the client's job coater. We dip a swab in the chemical substance and rub the surface repeatedly. We then examine the rub spot immediately. If the powder coating has been cured properly, we will observe a matting of the surface or slight softening. In the event of a powder coating which has not been hardened thoroughly, we will observe considerable softening and pieces of painting clinging to this wall and often wipe the paint off the substrate completely. Adhesion test. Another part of the testing is a cross-cut test. We make a cut with a knife all the way through the coating to the substrate and another cut at right angle to create an X pattern. Then, we clean the cut and stick adhesive tape on it. After 30 seconds, we pull the tape off. If the adhesion of the coating is at an adequate level, the coating will not separate from the substrate. If the coating is not cured properly, you will see a loss of adhesion along the edges of the cuts, or whole squares of the lattice detached. Impact test. A properly cured powder coating has adequate mechanical properties. One of the tests to examine this is an impact test. We set a required force and release the weight. We carry out this test on both sides. A properly cured coating will resist the impact without cracking. In the case of an inadequately cured coating, we observe the cracks in the place of the impact. Flexibility tests. Another test of mechanical properties is flexibility or bending. While inadequately cured finish shows longitudinal cracks, a properly cured coating does not crack. DSC analysis. The most precise method for determining the quality of curing coatings is the DSC analysis. Unlike the previous approximate methods, the DSC analysis, or differential scanning calorimetry analysis, discovers the degree of polymerization accurately. A calorimeter compares the quality of curing test sample with a fully cured polymerized coating. A sample of paint is extracted from the surface of the panel or part to be tested. This sample is put in an instrument and analyzed. The results obtained are glass transitional temperatures of the test sample and of the fully cured powder coating. If the differential complies with the specification, it means the coating has been properly cured. This method can be used as the first step in optimizing the curing process. In order to set the curing parameters accurately, it is necessary to measure the temperature profile of the curing oven, which will be the topic of one of the following presentations. There are standard methods that we will use to test the curing level of powder coating. Thank you for your attention.